Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to solve this interesting math problem. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and read it right now. It says, if 1 over a plus a, all that squared, is equal to 24, what is the value of a squared plus 1 over a squared? So the problem itself might seem a little confusing. You certainly want to read this problem a couple times so you fully understand it. But uh, this type of problem is a uh, kind of an illustration of a type of problem that shows up frequently on, on tests like the SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, kind of like entrance exams or placement exams. So the way I'm going to get the solution to this problem might be a little bit surprising, but I want to give you too many hints here because I want to give you a full opportunity uh, to solve this problem all on your own. So here is the problem. If you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. Then I'm going to go through the solution step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep, or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's just read the problem one more time before I show you the um, answer here. So it says, if all this right here, 1 over, a, uh, 1 over a plus a squared is equal to 24, what is the value of this expression here, a squared plus 1 over a squared? So again, you know, a problem that might seem a little bit confusing if you just read it one time, but again, hopefully you understand the problem and hopefully you did this right. Let's go to take a look at the answer. The answer is the following, 22. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, that's very, very good. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give you a nice little happy face in A++. I don't normally give A++. Matter of fact, I don't even normally give anything over 100%. But nowadays, uh, you know, you can get all kinds of crazy uh, uh, grades on test exams, et cetera, et cetera. When I was going to school back in the 70s and 80s, the best you can get in like your uh, high school GPA or college GPA was like 4.0. Now you can get things like 9.2s, all kinds of stuff. So anyways, listen, more power to you. But if you got this right, that's outstanding. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into this problem. Now, if you attempted this problem and you were like frustrated you're like i know how to solve it i know what i, I need to do but you know it didn't work out and maybe you're just getting you know kind of angry or just like oh you know frustrated well that is normal okay in other words uh part of math is you know is when you're dealing with challenging problems is that when you start something you go down a particular path, it doesn't work out, it's like a dead end. Well, listen, that means you need to go back to the beginning of the problem and try another path. That's kind of normal. So don't be too tough on yourself. Give yourself a, no, uh, a lot of credit just for even attempting the problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the solution here. So here is the problem. Okay, so we have if this expression right here, 1 over a plus a squared is equal to 24. So obviously we have an equation here. So if this uh, this equation, okay, like given this equation, what is the value of this? Now you can see here that this question, it's asking us the value of a squared plus one over a squared. Well, how do we get the value of this? Well, we're gonna have to get, we're gonna have to have this um, uh, value for a, okay? So we need to know what a is in order to actually uh, construct an actual value or calculate an actual value. So we're going to evaluate this expression when we know what a is equal to, okay, what number. So it's hopefully um, was obvious to you that our first step in figuring this problem out is we need to solve for a in this equation, okay? Now, if you recognize that, that's very good, okay? So I would say, you know, matter of fact, if you were doing this problem and let's say you just started, you say, okay, I need, I need to solve for this first. And then once I get A, I can plug it in there. If I was your math teacher and you were like showing me, okay, I'm going to start solving for this and you just started solving for it. But you, let's say you just couldn't solve uh, the equation correctly. I would still give you, let's say this was 10 points. I might give you like three out of 10. What am I saying here? For those of you out there that are students, Make sure you show your work, and even if you don't so, um, uh, solve the entire problem or you don't figure the whole thing out, you're going to get likely some credit on open-ended test 
quizzes, et cetera, et cetera. Plus, it's just a good habit to get into in terms of mathematics. Okay, so here we go. We need to solve for A. We have 1 over A plus A squared is equal to 24. So what do we need to do here? Well, we need to square this expression. All right, we're going to end up with a quadratic kind of scenario. And we really don't know where this equation is going to take us. And that's OK. You're not going to know everything in advance. What you have to do is just kind of start the problem. So let's go ahead and square this, right? 1 over a uh, plus a squared is this times itself. So now we're going to go ahead and use the FOIL method to figure this out, right? So we're dealing with a binomial. Let me just make sure you understand this right here. This is nothing more than something like x plus y times x plus y. So how do we multiply two binomials? Well, you use the FOIL uh, method first outer uh, first outer inner last method We're kind of talking basic algebra one stuff here matter of fact if you are kind of already shaky on some of these skills I'm going to probably suggest my algebra one course to help you out uh, to get the skills in order to figure this out but you're going to be kind of uh, shocked when you see the solution here but anyways let's go ahead and continue to focus on the problem okay so first outer inner last it means we're going to multiply one over a times 1 over a. And when we do that, I'm going to get a 1 over a squared. Okay, so that's my first, right? I'm following the FOIL method, first, outer, inner, last. So uh, the outers would be what? 1 over a times a. Okay, now 1 over a times a is what? Well, I'll just show you here. 1 over a times a or a over 1. The a's cross cancel is just 1. So hopefully you saw that, and that is 1. So let's do the inners now, first outer inner. So a times 1 over a is the same thing. That will be 1. And then a times a is a squared. OK, so hopefully uh, you know you're able to do this. And that's excellent. So now let's move on and combine like terms here. right? So we have 1 over a squared, excuse me, 1 over a squared. I don't know if I were saying 1 over a, but if I did, I apologize. So that's 1 over a squared, excuse me. Uh, and then we have 1 and 1, so that'll be 2. Then I have my a squared, so I'm going to write everything just like this. And now I'm going to go ahead and move uh, this 2 to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. And what I'm, I'm going to end up with is 1 over a squared plus a squared is equal to 22. Now, here is where this problem is going to get interesting. Now, how many of you had this and you continued on? Or you're like, okay, i got to figure this out. And I just was so focused on solving for A. Well, here is the deal. This is where you have to be very, very kind of like sneaky. And you got to be like, oh, listen, ah, you know, you know, you're looking at this here. Like, yeah, this looks kind of familiar to me in the problem, right? So look at this, 1 over A squared plus A squared. Maybe uh, some bells were ringing. You're like, wait a minute. Isn't that the thing that the prom was asking? Let's go back up to the prom. What is the value of a squared plus 1 over a squared? What's the value of a squared plus 1 over a squared? Just remember that right there, a squared over 1 over a squared. Well, as we're going on here, we have a squared plus 1 over a squared. Yes, it's written in two different uh, the orders, a little bit different, but it's the same thing. So listen, we already actually have that. The value of this thing is 22. So you can just stop, and that is it. That is the answer. Okay. Now, a lot of you that continued on to solve for a, I totally get that. You know, if you're not, you know, paying attention, your expression might be like, oh my goodness, I had to do all that work. That was really difficult. And, you know, you know, you might have gotten frustrated with all that algebra, you know, that you had to do. With these type of problems, okay, you really have to be on the alert, okay, of what the expression's asking. So again, um, as I kind of indicated in the beginning of the video, you know, if you're going to be taking like tests like the SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, you know, any kind of certification exam or whatnot, you're, sometimes you're going to not have standard type of math questions. Or they're going to be kind of looking for your ability to kind of solve um, problems, you know, I don't want to say in an unorthodox manner, but, you know, in ways that, you know, might uh, require some creative thinking. OK, but anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this problem. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.